Welcome back to the Tri-Curious Podcast. This is episode four. I'm your host, Uneducated, uh, we, a.k.a. Talis. We also have uh, the other hosts, uh, Seppi, a.k.a. Colin. Hello. Thanks for introducing yourself. Uh, we also have a reasoning mage, a.k.a. David. <laughs> yep, I'm here. <laughs> and we have special uh, guests, um, uh, Teddy Roosevelt expert, <laughs> Hunter. Ah, uh, yes, that would be me. Yes. So, uh, so now, anyways, uh, Hunter is a friend of ours, so he's not famous, so, uh, well, you know, don't pay attention to him. Um, anyways. Yeah, exactly. So, I guess I'll start us off with a topic. Um, you know, because I, I, I was watching, you know, like, we watched uh, the new Mortal Kombat and, you know, Demon Slayer, and I, I bought the new Mortal Kombat, not new Mortal Kombat game, I bought Mortal Kombat 11, and I, I was just thinking about video games, so I figured a good question would be, you know, what is everybody's favorite video game? Oh, wow, that's a broad question. That's a great question, though, actually. How about you start us off, Talis? That is <laughs> well, uh, I mean, my favorite video game is uh, Total War. Um, so, uh, those are pretty good. <laughs> no, I mean, realistically, favorite video game. I mean, that was super broad. Like, to be yeah. fair, it's like, oh yeah, I have a favorite. Like, oh, Minecraft, always very really oh, yeah. good. I can always go back and play Minecraft. You know, same with, like, Terraria, that kind of thing. It's like, I've been really into Hearts of Iron 4 recently, mm-hmm. but that's, like, three games. Could I choose which one's better? No. See, it's, uh, the, <laughs> They're all different so games. I have a definitive it's, it's, answer to yeah, this. Yeah, I, I know you do. Um, okay, but, Mr. Witcher but 3. I was going to say Clearly. that you don't necessarily have to be like, oh, this is my all-time favorite. More like just something that, like, means a lot to you like me personally like i said i love my total war games they mean a lot to me but i also might even just go with someone like assassin's creed because i love assassin's creed i've played assassin's creed for ages i love the way the combat is i like the story i like everything about the assassin's creed video games <laughs> so personally that's what i'd rank you know i mean i i'd yeah. probably go with something like that yeah fair enough. i'm still going with the witcher <laughs> yeah particular reason why. The, the three specifically? <laughs> a particular reason? Uh, the third one specifically, yeah. yeah. I don't know, man. Like, the first time I played the game, I didn't really think much about it, right? Mm-hmm. But as I continued playing, the story just drew me in so fucking well. The characters are so well written. I love it. Yeah. God damn. Fair enough. Uh, I want to play it right now. <laughs> Die. Podcast I'm leaving. Goodbye. <laughs> Uh, Puckus over Minecraft. Puckus over Minecraft. I, I'd probably Minecraft. say my favorite game. <laughs> probably no shock to most of the people here. Dragon Fable. It's a Flash game. 2005. <laughs> you you trying to break <laughs> us and say th- th- think we we're going to say Dead so by Daylight? Someone who was talking about Dead by Daylight. That's all awesome there, but that's a new. D- that's Have a you new. Even mentioned right. that game in the podcast. Oh, sorry, what? Have you even mentioned like no, Dragon no. Fable? It's not a surprise to you, you and Talos. Yeah. I'm assuming. I mean, it wasn't really a surprise to me fair. either. Yeah. So yeah, that's fair. Great game. Uh, it's a choice. MMORPG. It's kind of. It's great. Flash game. Love it. Funny. It kind of grindy, but... Funny. Good times. Yeah. Which, um, David, have you actually went and played any amount of Hunt Showdown yet? Uh, I did the tutorial. Yeah. I wanted to, I don't, like, I kind of, like, went through, like, 50% of the tutorial, and then I'm like, yeah, fuck this, I want to play the actual game, yeah. and then, like, I, I was going to play the actual game, but then I'm like, eh, I don't want to start doing it by myself, mm-hmm. <laughs> get my ass kicked, probably. Yeah, no, that happens, because, so, yeah. Yeah, I, 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 I don't want to do it with uh, one of y'all. Uh, yeah, because yeah. we actually can have teams up to three, so we could all three play, because um, me and Colin are playing... And I uh, know yeah, it, it, it was a good time. It was a good time. We actually won a couple matches. So, yeah. Well, cool. one is a, cool. is a strong. It's like I don't know if you could say you beat like one at a game. Like, we you collected can, like, the bounty. Wipe everybody. The bad. Yeah, that's yeah, that's winning the match. I mean, you you. I think winning is just bounty, surviving. You kill other people. And like you could survive I mean, by killing everybody. Everybody else just happens. Well, no, to because die. being no, because going up and collecting the clues and then being a pussy and running away ain't winning. All right, beating the bounty is winning. <laughs> in my book. Well, right. no, he's fair. He's right. Well, you know, different people have different, you know, uh, opinions. opinions all right, on I'm about to get political. Dude, I'm like, 
Well, going back to like the favorite video game, I cannot pick. I have like four games that have been like top tier games mm-hmm. to me. It was, it's trucks in me. Yeah. Like, I know, I know. Yeah. <laughs> no, that's not, 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 that's not me. That's not me. I have it though. I should play yeah. a good game. Yeah. Like, I'm a big fan of uh, trucks. You know, Hearts of Iron Four. Factorio, Minecraft, Terraria, yeah. those kind of games. Well, so I mean, of course, you know, Minecraft is a brilliant masterpiece. Um, I I enjoy Hearts of Iron 4, I do, because, uh, like I said, it's in the same realm as Total War because it's turn-based, not, I guess, Hearts of Iron isn't turn-based, but it's strategy games, so. Real-time strategy. Yeah, I like strategy games. It's like I was a big fan of XCOM when I first played that. I really like that game. Fuck it. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Something about fucking turn-based strategy games are just the fucking... I hate them. I hate them so much. It's boring and slow and takes too much brain power. I just... Yeah. Dude, it's because you have no I brain have power, right? Because he, he has much brain. He has much brain. You know, you know Dragon Fable, <laughs> Dragon Fable, best game ever. It's turn-based. But it's like... <laughs> you know, it's like back and forth. Like you and an opponent... And then you scoosh back and forth, taking turns, hitting each other, all right? That's simple, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. Not that big battle, fucking, here's a big field with a bunch of units, uh, attack, do a click, on manage all this. And I'm just like, ah. Uh. Man, is that why you're so bad at Civ? Yeah, it's like, we'll, we'll be playing Civ, and I'm like, oh, yeah, I just got iron. And they're like, I ju- just developed a nuclear bomb. And I'm like, ah, uh, no. <laughs> oh, like, no. Is- with all due respect, in like the 20 games we have played, None of us have made anything that is actually like modern day. That's true. God, I was close. A, I was a, close. You were close to a. And then bomber. you fucking destroyed me. All right. Yeah, all right. Fuck you. All right. <laughs> That's what Japan does to America. All right. right. Yeah. It was only. It was but in the every cards. game since then, I could have destroyed. That's not. Shush. That's not the point. All right. That's no not the point. All right. No one asked you. All right. All right fine. Ah. <laughs> uh, ah. Uh, Anyways, uh, you know, uh, move, 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 uh, moving on from that. Uh. Kind of out of nowhere, but uh, I had a, uh, one time when I was like a little bit, like a couple years ago or whatever, uh, I went to the store, like Price Chopper or something, mm-hmm. and like, I was like, there was this couple, and his like girlfriend or wife or whatever was like deaf, and like, she was trying to speak out what she was saying or whatever, and like he was being very supportive, and it was kind of like, it was kind of like wholesome, you know. But just like she picked up like a steak or something, and she just looked at him with like a sm- like a bright smile on her face, and was just like, no. Oh. Uh, was there a point to that? <laughs> no, yeah. he just likes making fun I of s- people. It was just, it was wholesome, but like I couldn't help but laugh. <laughs> that, you know what I mean? Unfortunately. Unfortunately, he does. <laughs> like, it's just, you know, it's nothing you can, like, you know, there's nothing you can do about it, you yeah. know? Just that that kind of thing happens. It's just, you know, I just, it was yeah. funny in the moment. I mean, hey, it's fine. Uh, it's, it's good to laugh at things, you know? At the disabled. <laughs> at people yeah, for I, something like... <laughs> It's funny to laugh at people who cannot, like, do anything about it. <laughs> well, well, that's, that's not, not, that's not what, that's, mm, <laughs> I don't know about that one, Chief. I'm pointing out my flaw of that. I Listen, I couldn't help but Nobody help hates laugh, anybody, you know? alright? We're not judging people. It just I hate everybody. It's funny because dark humor exists. Cool, hate <laughs> and that's that. I don't know if that's... Mm, <laughs> well, that's fair. Yeah. <laughs> 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 oh, okay. Uh, but besides that, uh, what made you guys like? What do you? Okay, here, hold on. Let me pull up. Let me pull up. I worded it better in my notes. Okay. Why do you think that music has adapted the way it has over uh, over time? You know, like how shanty songs have like become popular again since like the 16th century kind of deal you know like why have they like resurged i feel 
like shanties are popular because if you can't sing, if there's enough of you singing together, it doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> you know that sounds That's about fair. right. <laughs> yeah, I feel like it's like just God, that's a good question. He broke his mush brain. My mush brain, my tiny boy mush brain. <laughs> his mush brain. Why has the music circled yeah. around to make all things popular? Probably just the accessibility of it. Being, like a bunch of people rediscovering it. Something probably. I think it's something triggers it probably. It's something new or something fresh, you know, hipsters and all that, you know. <laughs> no. It's not like a hipster thing. It's like everybody's listening. Well, to yeah, but, well, yeah, I know. It's be, it's because it's just something new, something interesting. Like you don't hear that on the radio. It's not an everyday occurrence. So when everybody starts hearing these sea sea shanties and they're, you know, they're good songs because it's people's vocals and there's like most a lot of the time there's not instruments. It's just something so you're not used to that. And oh, it's, it's like the average person isn't used to like him kind of music, you know, like that. Not necessarily like. But just like opera or something, like not everybody listens yeah. to that. Yeah, no, not at all. Like, uh, but still, it's in like the, the whatever the music awards acapella. are. Acapella. Like, yeah, it's like people like there's still like opera singing as a, a like a awards they give in the uh, music reward uh, awards. Mm-hmm. You know, it's like why don't they have like sea shanty uh. or like. You know, shanty songs. They might, know? they might now. I mean, honestly, yeah, I don't, I don't know if they would put that just into the acapella category though, because uh, that's kind of what it is, honestly. It's just people yeah, singing so. in unison with it, just voices. So, but is uh, it's not really acapella though, because like they're not making like uh, instrument esque noises with their mouth either. I guess that's fair. Yeah, no, you're right. I mean, it's also the the she shanty thing is a bit broad, because it's not just like technically it's 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 like songs of the sea or what they technically are. They're not really she sea shanties. Some of them are uh, sea shanties, but not all of them. S- uh, sea shanties are like a sector of like songs of the sea because sea shanties are like created for working. It's like a railroad song or something it's made when you're working yeah. so with rhythm to keep going by a lot of the songs that are so called sea shanties aren't technically that but that's just yeah. it's just kind of like a repurpose of the words so the, uh you know it happens repurposes of words no reason to get too uppity about uh, names i guess because like for example getting specific songs like the curse and like uh wellerman you mm-hmm. know it's like the curse is like, oh, that's not really a song you'd work to. No. But it's like, oh yeah, you might work to like Wellerman or uh, let's see, on the railway. Yeah. Whatever it's called. Yeah, on the railroad. Yeah. So. I agree. I agree. Herga, herga. Yeah, I don't know. Herga, herga. It is a weird thing, but I, I, I feel personally the whole, oh, why is this music popular again? Kind of thing is like it memes. Memes happen. Why? No one knows. Just it does. Somebody posts a video, it's like, haha, funny meme, and then there's music in the background. It's like, oh, what's that pirate song? It's like, oh, just sea shanty, and then everybody jumps on it and just ends up falling in love. I'm gonna go ahead and say, I'm gonna, I'm gonna call and say, it was probably uh, Sea of Thieves that started yeah, it. Yeah, probably. That's certainly how I found out about it. That's how I found out about um, Ailstorm, and then Ailstorm kind of blew up because of Sea of Thieves. Back when that. Well, came out. I mean. Was I, mean, th- I, mean, I mean, obviously the thing that really made it popular uh, to everybody was the fact of that one guy singing well man on TikTok and then that blew up, which made it popular now. It got uh, more popular through Sea of Thieves and stuff, but not like it did when that guy made that video. Well, that's fair. And, you know, of course, you know, Vlogus John has made well man so... What about what about you, Hunter? You have anything to weigh in on this conversation, or no? Did we say everything? No, not really, because I didn't play either of those things, and I didn't see that meme, so I don't know yeah. why they're popular. All I know is that it's pretty cool. Un- understand? Did you ever play like Black Flag or anything? I played Black Flag. That one was fun. Yeah. But I didn't go around collecting the shanties. I didn't. I, I wouldn't say I went around collecting them, but I definitely listened to them. <laughs> Fair. For the ones I did have. Or or if I happened to cross by it or something. Actually, maybe I did collect the shinies because my gamer brain went shiny thing and I just chased it. 
that is exactly how it happens. <laughs> it's like, oh, shiny paper running away from me. Time to catch. <laughs> Time to catch. <laughs> Time to catch. Oh, very nice. Is it bad that I never played that game? <sighs> yeah, I want to say it's bad, but, you know. It, I'd recommend uh, it. I, 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 it physically hurts me hearing that, but it's not bad. I was going to say, it's like I definitely recommend it. It's still a great game. It's very fun. Yeah, I mean, I never played it, but I was just, I just fucking hated the Assassin's Creed series. Just how they played, I never liked it. Really? I like Assassin's yeah, Creed. Is it because Talos liked it? Everybody hated, like, the first one because it was super linear and shit, but, like, I kind of like that. It was just like, oh, yeah, it's just the way the old games are made. Yeah, and then the new ones are interesting. They're good. I, I don't know. I just, uh, maybe, maybe it's just me. My Valhalla has had some issues with AI. Um, I haven't played it in a hot minute, but when I was first playing, playing it and a little bit after the ai just decided that i'm going to stand there and then not attack you until like i'm almost dead and then like 10 people run at me and i die and th but they're not even looking at me they're just like shooting at the ground and i'm dying i don't know i was having some real issues man <laughs> God well, damn. Hear, I, that's just uh that's just isn't that U ubisoft that makes those games yeah but i i had no one else having those problems it was literally like just me and i i don't know i maybe it's my computer man <laughs> that game's that game's it. actually like, that sounds like a that sounds like a when you download the game there was like a a packet that you didn't download and you kind of fucked with shit. yeah i guess that could be it was one text file yeah right. kind of like how in like tf2 or whatever <laughs> like it's funny where it's like what is it, coconut.png? Yep. And it's like, if they didn't have that, like, when they deleted it, to, like, just take out the random PNG of a coconut, the game wouldn't launch well. at all. <laughs> and so there's like, you know what, we'll just, I guess that's just gonna be there. Just a random PNG of a coconut. <laughs> you know, it do be like that. <laughs> it do be like that. It's fair. Alright, Colin, what's your topic? Go. Uh, uh, uh. So, why are you so obsessed with the Teddy Roosevelt? That's Teddy, Teddy Roosevelt. Roosevelt. An expert. A expert. Yeah. <laughs> why do I like Teddy Roosevelt? Yeah. I don't. He. It's because he did a lot of shit, right? He was a very fascinating. He did man. do a lot of shit. Yeah. He also basically fucking took the powers of the president and just ran with it, because a lot of presidents didn't really. Do, have to They're do afraid a lot because of what yeah. they were yeah because they didn't want to be seen as tyrants yeah and he's just like you know what we're gonna do it and we're gonna do it hard exactly and so he just ran that's with what it. I don't, dude i'm fairly certain let's get political here yeah go ahead do <laughs> it dave i feel like uh th i'm not gonna keep on this topic too long but i'm fairly certain like Ronald Reagan is like, oh, a lot of Republicans liked him, but it's like, he, isn't he the one that, like, made it illegal for, like, people to, like, own machine guns? He think... It, is he? I know nothing of Ronald Reagan. I know nothing of anybody, but, you know, so I'm asking. I mean, you know, Teddy Roosevelt, you know, Rough Riders, you know. He, he, uh, he did the <laughs> National Park thing, I know about that. Yeah. Was the teddy bear? He did do that, which is nice. Was the teddy bear named after him or his father? It was named after him. Okay. Excuse me. I can't remember. Yeah, the teddy bear was named after Rose Roosevelt. I didn't know that. Yeah. Or maybe it was. I don't know. As far as I have ever been told, always. So. <laughs> Fair. Because I did. I don't know. Didn't he like kill a bear or something? Probably. I don't know. Probably. Yeah, that sounds bad. Like bad. Bad. Yeah. Just wrestle it to the ground. <laughs> Didn't he also like hunt elephants? After he became after his presidency ended, right? He went to Africa yeah. and shot a thousand animals, I believe. <laughs> Something stu like a very large number. I believe a few of those were rhinos, and one of them was an elephant. I don't remember the so, exact what, one. So was he a poacher? Or did he just? What was that reason? <laughs> or was it just... I think he just like hunting. He just liked, it, it, he just he liked hunting. Like hunting big game. Yeah, yeah. I, mean, I feel like it was a lot more normal back then. Like, there was a more abundance of those animals. Um, yes and no. Like, uh, you know, because I was like a hundred... Almost, like, I was like 80 years ago. 100 years ago. 100... Yeah. Was it... Uh, Teddy Roosevelt Jr., I believe his grandson. Badass motherfucker. Yeah. Yeah. He was on the beaches of Normandy. <laughs> oh. As an old ass man. 
Yeah, he just walked up and down the beach with his cane. That was great. I loved that. <laughs> Which president's son was in World War One and he got killed? And, like, since the Germans were like, oh, yeah, he's very... That's very honorable for a, a son of a president to, like, fight for the country when he didn't have to. Was that also, like, Teddy Roosevelt's son? I don't know. I don't know if it was his son or... He died in France in 1944. 1944? Alright, so it was his son, not his grandson, that did the thing. Uh, nice. Colin, what did you do? Nice. Colin? And he was a, in the Air Force? Colin. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. No problem. No, he died of a heart attack. He landed on Utah Beach. Yep. Nice. Pretty epic. Pretty epic, pretty gamer. Pretty gamer of him. That was pretty pog of him. That was pretty pog champ. Pog champ. You know what vibe I get from deer, like the animal? I yeah, get the vibe yeah. that they would be mobile gamers, if that makes any sense. So what would be a uh, like actual a console, gamer? Like, okay, like a PC gamer, I feel like would be like, ooh, probably like a big reptile, a giraffe, like, a, maybe? Like, a, like an alligator or something. I think they'd be like a, you know, they'd be a, they'd be a traditional. PC gamer, but like to no, I, I think they I think they would be like a, a console gamer, and to be more specific, I feel like they'd be PlayStation. I I, I think know? if they were I'm a console honest. gamer, I'd get like more um, Xbox vibes from a Gator personally. So wh who's a Nintendo? Oh, yeah. fucking Nintendo gamer birds, but like the shitty birds, like like a crane. That, definitely, kind of thing. definitely, like Finch or something. Maybe a crane would be like a shitty. Oh yeah. Yeah. I was thinking of like a, like you know gerbils. Why are they shitty? For, oh, have you for seen being... them? They're all lanky and just like frail. So like what? So what about an ostrich? Like what would they be? An ostrich. An ostrich. Uh... <sighs> That's a good question. I think an ostrich would be more of That's like a perfect for hunter. Game, right? By the way, that's perfect for hunters like oh, yeah, PFP. Exactly. What happened? You're welcome. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest. That works perfectly. I spaced <laughs> out amazing. that whole time you two were talking. <laughs> no, I think like all I heard was okay. alligator, ostrich, you want and crane, premium... and I was like, oh, cool. Huh, you want the premium <laughs> PC gamer? Eagle. It's just like when you're saying <laughs> Eagle. Very American very, too. Very, PC so. gamer very American. Very PC. Dude, I feel like oh, Eagles wouldn't be PC though. They wouldn't be politically correct though. No, no, they probably wouldn't. They'd play like a lot of Call of Duty. But they'd and play they'd just, like yeah, they'd and be the people with their mics on all the time, regardless of what's happening. Call of Duty. No, no, they're, they're playing fucking football. <laughs> they're toxic yeah. gamers, is what they Eagles, are. Eagles, they're I cool. It. They seem like cool gamers on the surface, but in reality, they're like kind of toxic. You know? Yeah. You mean like Maybe David? Dropping, yeah. Dropping, you know. You know. Yeah. The gamer word? The gamer. Yeah, the gamer word, yeah. Yeah. Pog. <laughs> yeah. Very they're very pog though. They're very pog. Very pog. Yeah. So uh So you know Demon Slayer came out, all that good stuff. Mm -hmm. Um yeah. and I was uh found out that apparently it had hit the what is it, nineteen million in the United States and Canada during opening weekend. And I was the biggest for an opening weekend for a foreign language film ever. Really? And that's pretty good for an R rated film during a pandemic because there's been some popular foreign films like, you know, what, Parasite, that one was very fucking popular. But that's true. Yeah. So it has made the most on opening weekend. I mean despite those two things. It deserves it because it's a good I, great I wish movie. It, w it, it was, was very good. Fantastic. As much as you guys disagree with me, I, I wish I had seen it and subbed. You know, that's fair. That's your yeah. opinion, you know. Yeah. I, I know you guys, I know it's like, you, you, you don't have to, like, read or whatever. Because, I, like, I get it. You don't have to read when you're watching a movie, you know. You're watching a movie for a reason. You don't have to, like, read a book at the same time. But it's just, I feel like the Japanese voice actors get the emotion across better than the American voice yeah, actors. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I don't. I feel like I can understand that sometimes, but that's more in lower quality, like, animes and stuff. Like, f for Demon Slayer, the acting was fucking great, the voice acting. I, just, I didn't feel any, like, oh. 
It was better than most. It was better than most dubs. Let's, yeah. I'll give it that. My opinion on the situation is I could care less about what language is in. I'll I'll re- I'll fucking read it. I'll listen to it in English. I'll listen to it in Japanese. I'll listen to it in fucking Swedish. For all like, uh, honestly, it could it could matter less to me. I'll listen to it all. I will go to sub first because I like sub. It's fine. I like Japanese. I'm learning Japanese. I enjoy it. I'll watch dub depending on the situation. We watched Demon's Land dub because that was the showing at the time. That's the only reason it was a dub. Other than that, I probably would have watched it in sub. And also, uh, it, 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 I will say some things. Like, let's say I go watch One Piece, 500 episodes. I'm putting that shit in dub because I'm not going to binge watch 500 episodes and have to laser focus on reading it the entire time. I'm going to be on my phone and then like half pay attention to it. So that that's where I stand on, on it because like when it comes to long running series like that, I'm going to zone out sometimes. For me, I think <laughs> that the sub, I watch sub, I've watched things in sub and it's fine. But I feel like it, because if I'm reading it, I'm not going to be paying attention to how they're speaking and how much emotion they're putting into the performance. That's just me personally, though. In fact, I think it helps not knowing Japanese as well. Watching it in sub, it sounds like there's more emotion behind it because you don't understand what they're saying. Yeah. You know, I think it might be easier. I think that's why I, I like sub better because that's why I get the motion across better. Because when it during like the middle of the movie, when there was like the fighting going on or whatever... I could care less what they were speaking because it was fighting and it was cool, you know? Yeah. It was just the fighting that was, you know, but, like, when it was, like, the beginning or, like, the very end, you know, it was like, I wish they had the emotion behind it better. I remember the time, the the moment I realized that it didn't matter that much to me was when I was watching Fairy Tale and I had it in, you know, sub, and I had watched, like, 20 episodes like that. And then I, start, and then I started an episode. And I was watching it, and I was like 10 minutes into it. I was like, oh, fuck. The subtitle's on, but it happens to be in English. <laughs> um, and I didn't notice. It was complete. You know- I just did not notice at all. I was like, this is Japanese. I was like, wait a minute. That's English. Oof. <laughs> you know what's funny? The very first anime, besides like Dragon Ball or stuff like that, mm-hmm. you know, that I ever watched, oh, like the Normie anime, like the very first one I ever watched was Soul Eater. And I watched it dubbed, and I really enjoyed mm. it. Very first anime I watched subbed was Sword Art Online. Oh, gross. And, and I know everybody shits on Sword Art Online, but I can't help but like have a place in my heart for that anime because I thought it was like, the first time I ever like truly realized the amount of motion that the diff- the other language puts better or puts through that better that's just my opinion but see the reason uh i would say one of the other things why i like i I do actually enjoy dub is because um when it comes to japanese i don't understand it and when and the way the language is it's dub is going to give me accents and a way to distinguish people now don't give me like i said i do like sub i love the voices and i can distinguish them plenty fine but I there is a little bit of extra doing certain things when there's like an accent like let's say I'm watching um uh, I don't know drifters I guess I don't know I watch drifters and so but like say I was watching that and because there's people from multiple cultures and if they had like the accent that's kind of cool I like that but when it's like I see people from multiple cult- cultures and then they're all speaking Japanese and they all sound exactly the, uh, like you know they all they all sound like they're from Japan it's like yeah, kind of weird. To me. <laughs> it's like I mean, I get it, but like it's kind of like and, how I don't know. Sub or Scorpion in the new World Combat movie. He didn't say a single word in English. It was just in Japanese. And I appreciate that. That was really nice. I liked that a lot. I li- I really liked the new Mortal Combat movie. It was good. Who is your favorite character? Kano. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Dude, honestly, I was gonna Kano. say Kano. <laughs> He's so okay. badass. I love Mortal Kombat movie was good. It was good fun, you know, it was good for the people who enjoy the games to be like, ah, oh, funny references and quips and lines and the characters, which is fine. It wasn't a good movie by movie standards. It was a good movie for being I a mean, more I disagree. combat movie. I disagree. Like I say, going back to, like, you didn't watch Godzilla to, like, <laughs> for the story. You watched it for yeah, Monsters exactly. Fight. Exactly. Right? So it's like, you come to this, you come to a Mortal Kombat movie. If you're there for the story, 
you're wrong, okay? You came there to watch you fighting, You should only okay? watch it it's if like, you're a fan of the Mortal Kombat series. Call on, call on, are you telling me? That's untrue. That, that is, is untrue, also Colin. very. You that shouldn't is, have to that watch it. That is way untrue, Colin. If you like fighting in general, like fighting movies in general, like you could go back and watch Jet Li movies. Stories, not necessarily very good, but you're there for the fighting, yeah, you know? Colin, w- would you sit here fun. and say that Godzilla King of the Monsters is not good by movie standards? No, it's good. Then you <laughs> then and then you should feel the same about Mortal Kombat because I think Mortal Kombat was on that same level because like David said, fighting you're there for the fighting it's epic fighting the stories in both of them weren't that great Godzilla King of the Monsters story not that great the monsters fighting was good and that's exactly what Mortal Kombat was the fighting was good the story was I I, I liked the story but it wasn't you know something super amazing but it wasn't like terrible either I'm just saying. Personally, I think for like the Mortal Kombat movie was a fine movie, but for being like a whole package deal for a movie, it's not a good movie. It's a good fan service thing, or it's good for like fighting. It was like, oh, the the CGI is pretty good and stuff. It looks, it's a good I've looking seen... movie, but it's not like a good, it's not a good well rounded movie. Godzilla: King of the Monsters was also just a good effects and good monster movie and the i think the human story was fine it's a better it's a more well-rounded movie than the Mortal Kombat one was personally i just didn't like the characters and some of the stuff oh really colin yeah <laughs> uh I, I lost my train of thought <laughs> i was gonna say something uh it's because I, I typed. Yeah, because <laughs> you were typing. Sorry. I was like, I was like, whoa! I just let you know. I was going to respond yeah. and yell at Colin more for his bad movie days. Uh, oh yeah, oh yeah. Going I back. was gonna say it's yeah. probably the best video game movie I've watched. Mortal Kombat. Honestly, yeah. I mean, video game movies don't turn out very good, ninety nine percent of the time. I feel like there was one that other one. That, that I feel true. like there might have been one other one that was good, but like you know, you go back and you watch like Assassin's Creed. That is not a good movie. I forgot that I watched that in theaters. I forgot that movie existed. That movie was ass. I fell asleep during it in theaters. Oh my god, that movie was so bad. Yeah, now I will say I'm excited because Ghost of Tsushima is getting a movie adaptation and the person who is um, directing it is the same guy who directs John Wick. The same guy? The same guy. That is pretty epic. Have you 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 never played Ghost of Tsushima, did you, Hunter? No, I did not. Ah, uh, yeah, you'd like that. That's right up your alley. It is what is it on? Um, PS4. Well, I have one. If you let me borrow the, actually, I don't think you have it on disc, do you? I do. Oh, do you do? Yeah, yeah, no, no I have it on disc. I ain't let you borrow it. I, I haven't actually finished it, but I have a lot of things I need to play, so I'll let you borrow it. I'll just play Witcher too. <laughs> it's pretty epic. But, but it is it is a beautiful game. It oh, yeah, is. how far are you in the Witcher two anyway? Not far. I haven't played any more of it than I have before. <laughs> That's pretty epic. <laughs> pretty epic. But uh, yeah, no, I would say Ghost of Tsushima is probably one of the most astonishingly beautiful games I've played. It's like uh, how like I said Demon Slayer was like the most astonishingly beautiful thing of cinema I have ever witnessed. <laughs> but and um, but like you know, Ghost of Tsushima is like it is right up there with how just great it looks. That's pretty high praise. Yeah, I, that's how I feel. Like I said, I'm just, I'm just, talking, I'm just thinking back to the Demon Slayer. That movie is beautiful, man. It brings. It was such. It brings man, I still haven't nice. seen anything about Demon Slayer at all. You don't even watch the so. show. Sorry. No. Oh, it's so good. It's <sighs> here, we'll come See? over. I'll, we'll come over like next week, and we'll get you to watch it, just like I did with. I think we should come over to Hunters, and we should all get them to and watch Demon watch, Slayer. Watch the movie. movie. I think we shouldn't because I don't think I want to watch. Hey, remember what happened when I came over that one time? We stayed up till two o'clock watching B Stars, and then you fell in love with it, all right? Yeah, but B Stars, I had a passing interest in. I have legitimately no interest in Demon Slayer. Hunter, I think you would like Demon Slayer. I probably uh, would, but but no. Here's the thing. I don't. I don't know. Watching a whole series in one sitting. I don't know if it's just me, but that can ruin a series. Yeah, I think that's just you. (laughs) <laughs> because like there's some series I can watch like in like one day and be like oh it was really good kind of deal but I don't know if it's just, I just my attention span sometimes just like oh it's really good 
But, like, after, like, for example, I started watching Supernatural. I watched it, like, four seasons in, like, a week, right? And <laughs> I'm like, oh, this is really good. And then, like, all of a sudden, I'm just like, I watched too much too quickly. I am bored of this. Good job, Dave. Would, would you recommend Supernatural? I've been thinking of watching it. I would. Uh, but... Uh, I would, I would, I like I, it. I'm I'm currently watching it again, so I'm on season seven, almost eight. Okay. I was gonna say I think it drops off around there, but I, that was maybe that's just me. I just quit watching it there, and I was like, I just quit dude, it's starting interest. to get, it's starting to get really good. I'm not, I'm, I'm not gonna lie, it's starting to get really good. <laughs> I'm into these though, and that's the reason it keeps being made. But like I said, I watched up till then, and then I stopped watching it. I thought about going back, but I just never really did. I don't know lots of episodes, but like it, uh, backtracking a little bit, my opinion on the sitting down and watching the whole thing. I think that's different for everybody. Like me, I one day, I remember I woke up in the morning, and I motioned my way downstairs, and I uh, threw open Netflix, as I did a lot. Like, back in the day, I'd sit in a recliner, I'd pull up Netflix, and then I'd just watch whatever the fuck was there. I watched a lot of Netflix shows. Some were bad, some were really bad. But I, I, saw, I saw Death Note. I said, fuck it, I'll watch Death Note. I'll watch one or two episodes. I sat there, and I watched all 40 episodes. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I never watched Death Note. I haven't seen Death Note either. I, I, I like it. Like it. Uh, I, I, I like has, it because it's mind games. It's good. I, and I Bacon enjoy has that. bad taste, and that's I can appreciate, established already. I can appreciate really watch it's well made, and it has a good story, but for me, it was just boring and slow. It's because he doesn't... Colin got really loud all of a sudden. Yeah. <laughs> Colin, yell. <laughs> yell very loud. You get very, you get very, uh, very energetic about that. It, like I said. Very passionate. I, I, Colin likes fast, quick action, or I, I guess... I, that's what I'm assuming here, judging by that, what he just said. Because, like I said, Death Note, yeah, it's a slow bomb, but, like, it's strategy, it's thought-provoking, you know, it's that is that kind of that kind of deal, and that's why I enjoy it a lot. Yeah, I don't know. But then, then you know, there's a bunch of cringy, you know, 14-year-old... Uh, old, so like, oh, no, oh. Yeah, community <laughs> can really can't ruin buddy. the show. <laughs> uh. Hey, Colin, t- there can be, tell me a like time a show that can be... a community has ruined something for you, Colin. So t- there'll be like shows or whatever games where it's like the game's super good, but the community is toxic and it ruins it. I totally get that. <laughs> I totally get what Colin's uh, yeah, I mean, like... Colin, give me an example of one. Steven Universe. That's I was really fair. interested in Steven Universe. I started watching it and then like, I was just started engaging like into the community I was like oh this stuff is cool and then it was just like oh it's all tumblr cancer and shipping and it's all tum yep uh, it's, it was bad. I hate shipping I hate shipping I feel like so much Do shipping you? is fine as long as it's not taken too seriously and too aggressively like because here's the thing oh like when it comes to shipping or whatever it's like it'll be like oh I ship these two people and then I I can't remember the anime but there was Everybody's shipping these two characters. <laughs> when it didn't end up happening, they started sending death threats to the off, like the yeah. author and like to the people who, you know. I'm just like, why are you being a garbage person? It's one thing person? to be like, oh, I hope these characters get together, and then there's another thing to be like, hey, if they don't get together, I will kill you and then kill myself. And it's like, okay, calm down, you fucking mongoloid. <laughs> it's like, but yeah, shipping. It's like that's one thing about like the supernatural community where I was like, ooh, when there, people are like. A ship of Dean and Sam, and it's like, how about you don't actually? It That's is awful. I hate that. It's nothing so with fucking much. like they're yeah, brothers. It's like the fucking, what uh, the hell? You community. fucking insane. Those people were like, people. oh, I ship Stolas and his daughter, and everybody was like, you better fucking stop right now. That shit got shut down real quick. Dude, yeah. <laughs> That's it's awful. I hate it. I hate yeah, it. Yeah, it's communities can be bad. But I honestly, my, I mean, but like, uh, go on. Go ahead. Oh no, I was gonna say like, aren't they in hell? Does it really matter? <laughs> He's got it a does when they're <laughs> fucking no. Okay. It's, it's still illegal. <laughs> I'm not gonna. Lie. It's still illegal. There's a reason why they're in hell. All right, they shouldn't do that. Because <laughs> exactly. they already did. <laughs> it's still awful. No, it is. You're right. I agree with you. But also, I'm an anime <laughs> fan, so that shit is normal. Uh, He's got a point. I'm sorry. <laughs> if you like want shipping, like bring it to the fan fiction, yeah. you know. Yeah. yeah. That's why they're there. It's so you can like, oh, this is how I think things should have been. Like I get like dojins and like fan fiction and stuff. Or David does get dojins. <laughs> <laughs> you know what, dude? You know what the actual meaning of that is? I believe it's just like manga, not from the original author, right? Yeah, it's literally just fan made yeah. stuff. Every like. People in like the Western like culture think like, oh, dojin that means an- that means porn, 
It's like no, it's not. I mean, it can it, it can be so. porn, but it's not all porn. Yeah, but it's not all porn. That just it's just like fan fiction and stuff, basically. Yeah. See, my my thought on it is like communities. Yeah, they can be shit as you explain. They're very terrible, but. I just don't give a shit either. I'll enjoy something I'll just in my alone time. It's like I don't need the internet to express anything. I'll sit down. I'll you know I'll play fucking Undertale, watch Steven Universe, do whatever. I will not interact with the community whatsoever. Exactly. I still I, think that Undertale is cool, but I don't yeah. give a shit about the community. Yeah, like, yeah. It's like I personally, like I said, Emily's been having me watch Homestuck. I enjoy Homestuck. The community is pretty much dead, anyways. But I don't care. I've never cared about the community. I, I don't care about it now it's just, uh, I just for some odd reason mind, collins so. really cares about communities apparently yeah, it's because i don't know yeah it's because he's alone on a farm all right is he wants to be a part of something and when it's terrible he cries about <laughs> Listen, <laughs> i'm not denying that but it's just I'm when, not when something it. ends all right like i'll enjoy media whether it be a game or a show or whatever and then I go to the community because yeah. it can still be blossoming and have a lot of great content. And then you'll see the shitty stuff and you're like, great, now this is awful and I hate existing right now. So you have to slog no. through all the bad stuff. Because I, I like enjoying a media see, for as long that, as I can. If I problem. really like a media... No, but you don't have to slog through all see, the bad stuff, the bad Colin. Thing. If there's bad stuff, don't slog through it. Turn it no, off. No, because, That's okay, it. what I'm That's saying it. is I enjoy <laughs> communities. So I would like to engage with this media that I love more than I've already expired the base of the media oh i've already watched this series okay i'll go to the community oh there's a bunch of fan made stuff and cool stuff oh there's shitty stuff so I'll just i don't push that under the couch and then hope to not see it again i don't really get into like the like the community and stuff but like sometimes the community can make the anime or like the show or whatever you're like whatever you're the co like content you're looking at it can make it so much better it can just elevate how good it, it can is. i was gonna bring up vtubers for that actually yeah yeah. Bring your VTubers for yeah. that. Yeah, because okay. a lot of the time, for let's say I I watch Hollow Live, right? I've actually joined their subreddit, right? Because I love I love seeing the content. Because a lot of people are just there to have fun. Because mm -hmm. not a lot of anime happened out of 2020, and so they were wanted the anime fix, and they went to VTubers because cute anime girls. Yeah. 2020 was just a shitty year for everything. Yeah. Uh, so, but yeah, community grew aside, out of it. It was pretty cool. Anime was weak in that in that that year. Yeah, uh, unfortunately. But yeah, I agree. I like I like Hollow Life. I like V Shoujo. V Shoujo is yeah, also like, very fun. I like watching clips of all of them. I can like I'll turn on a stream. Uh, I don't. I only really watch like two people to be honest. Like is one of them Iron Mouse? Consistency. Yeah. Yeah. Iron Mouse. I mean, it has to be, doesn't it? Yeah, she's. Hilarious, she's a grim one. That's she's a grim hilarious. Wait, alright, so do you like Amelia from Hall Alive, Dave? Uh, I do, but I don't watch, like, her live streams or whatever. That's fair. I feel like you're a I gremlin and you relate to other gremlins. That's fair. Uh, <laughs> I, I... I don't really watch any Hall Alive people live. That's fair. Like, I don't watch their streams. Well, because they, they stream at clips. inopportune times for you. I mean, not really. You should, well, they stream later at night, don't they? Or very early in the morning. It depends on where they're at, cause like Callie, she streams at night, and I like that. That's almost like a perfect time for when she streams. I can just watch it. Doesn't mean I'm gonna watch her stream, you know. I just don't. I don't find her entertaining most of the time. I only find like there's those like like I said, there's clips for a reason. I like those. Those are entertaining. Clips are fantastic. Most of the time, I don't like watching her live. Dude, I like how Colin can't say anything about this because he didn't watch any of them. I don't know. I think about no, that's answers. fine. See, it's like me. I, 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 I prefer clips. I love clips. But I will s occasionally go into a live stream. I'm just not big on watching live streams because it takes a lot of time. But Yeah, I watch Iron Mouse and Vebe, and that's Those are really the only two I watch. Uh, out of yeah. live streams, I watch Ina whenever I can. Yeah, because I'll watch... You seem like a, an Ina guy. Do you I? Know, you seem like that kind of guy that watches... Dude, that. In, Ina's <laughs> just chill. It's great. Uh. Yeah, because, like, me... She's very chill. I like, obviously, you know, Snuffy. Uh, yeah, really Snuffy's good. good. Snuffy's great. I cannot watch her live. Oh, my God. Yeah. Just the random shit she, she says. It's, just, like, why? I like it. Why? I like it. <laughs> like, right. No, it's funny. Like I said, sometimes it's funny. Dude, sometimes it's funny. I kind of stopped like, watching her during like, the pony phase, I'm going to be honest. That was kind of hilarious, not going to lie. <laughs> well, That's fair. But, like, and then... 
Coroni. Uh, I, I, I like uh, oh, Coroni. Coroni. Uh, she's very nice. She's very fun. Not very nice. She takes people's fingers, but you know. It'd, it'd be like that. It's a dog. But <laughs> she's a dog. It, yeah, it, it's like yeah, it's, like she's Japanese, so you know, obviously, I don't sit there and watch the streams because I don't understand everything. But I love the clips, and then I, it's like she had a karaoke stream the other night, and I was actually listening to that because you know I didn't really need to understand all of it. And I learned some things because I can actually read Jap uh, uh, Hiragana and Katakana. So. Was it her? <laughs> was it her? It was like there was a clip of her. Uh, I, I was one of the uh, Hall Live, but it was like there was one of the Japanese ones, and they're like, "Oh, I love you, step bro." <laughs> <laughs> and everybody was like, "No, no, no!" And she's like, "What did I say? Was it bad? Was it bad?" <laughs> I don't, I don't know that, about that. I know I that. I think oh. that one could have been. I don't think it was Corona. I, I don't think so. Corona. Who the yeah, fuck I, was it? What I do know is I was watching one video uh, clip by her that I loved. It was uh, there was a she was playing Mayo and she was asking what the pipes were called in English. And everyone was like, oh, yeah, type it in pipe, you know, because the way the Japanese, you know, say their words, she's like, oh, pipe, pipe, oh, pipe, pipe, <laughs> it just went it's on. Very, yeah. and apparently, it's very apparently she beat the game twice while um, not correcting herself. So. It's very cute when, like, it just, like, when a foreign, somebody speaking a foreign to us language is trying to speak your language, mm -hmm. and it's always, it's, it's cute when when they fail you know to an extent all right listen i've heard all right i think that might be biased towards anime girls because i've heard you know uh like you know people like you know my dad you know my, oh, they catch me english to me i can't do damn damn thing they're saying you know <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> like that's your dad yeah, though let's there's a difference that, that's, okay. fair, that's fair i'm not like that personally i was like i had that one co-worker from africa and he came up to me and he was like you like dog, and I thought I I loved it. I don't know. It was, it was really nice. He was he was a sweet guy, but that was just... yeah. But it's funny. It's funny, and it's always like it, it gives you like it really lightens like the mood. Yeah. No matter like you could be in a bad mood, and it's like you like dog, and you're just like I do yeah. like dog. like I, I do love like, like dog. So it was like my favorite uh, one of my favorite stories was I was working at Target, and we had a uh, one Hispanic guy who was working there. He was our uh, cleaner or whatever. He you know cleaned the trash, I guess. Uh, the, I forget what he was called, janitor, whatever. But, um. Point is is that the person who could speak spanish was not there that day and he only spoke spanish <laughs> so yeah. um they uh i believe it was uh, i'm gonna go with ashley i don't know the name uh, uh ashley uh, had broken glass on the floor and they were trying to tell him that hey we need you over here to clean it and you know they're over there like oh yeah uh, uh and they couldn't figure out what to say because you know he couldn't understand them one person goes up. That's when you say, Cuidado, peace of my heart. Yeah, no. <laughs> One person goes up and goes, Ashley. And then, like, makes a, like, a breaking, uh, <laughs> a breaking, uh, emotion with her hands. And goes, Psh! And he goes, Ah, okay. And then goes and yes. clings it. And I was like, I, That's how you do I it. love that. That's how you do I it. love that. He was just like, You gotta act it exactly. out. Exactly. It was just charades. And he was like, Ah, I understand. Ashley, dumb bitch, breaking shit. I'm gonna just, I'm gonna just, just, yeah, you know, it's fine. Yeah. Oh, somebody foreign to us mispronouncing English words, and it's funny. But when I go to say egg in Japanese, and you and Dakota verbally assault me for the next 30 minutes because I didn't put the right emphasis on the right word, you know. It's because it's because when we say it and you say, I don't fucking give a shit, I'm an American. There's a difference. No. Because you don't try and correct yourself, you get violent Because first. No, no. I, what did I call it? I said Tamago? <laughs> Tamago? Called to a violent person. Like, oh, it's not that, it's this. Oh. I was like, oh, fuck you then. I'm not going to say it correctly. You asshole. <laughs> it's how you, that's how you don't teach someone how to do something. That is how you don't teach somebody how to well, do something. That's why, like, I don't remember the situation wrong, correctly, you, so you, I can't defend myself properly on it. If, <laughs> if, I, if I did do that, then that's a mistake. But Colin also gets very defensive at the slightest raise of a voice. Exactly. Dude, Colin, I, I do do it, that. But, like, you right. Uh... I don't... Okay, so when somebody, like, somebody does something wrong, for say, and they're, like, learning, and it's like, oh, I didn't mean to do that. Sorry about that. Like, they broke something or so something along the lines of that. Uh, and they're like... I get, like, getting talked to, like, oh, you did that wrong, you need to fix it kind of deal. But, like, when you, like, yell at them and start, like, cussing them out or something like that, just, like, getting overly, like, 
mad at them because like they they accidentally yeah. did something you know it's like I don't I don't I don't like that when people do that because it really doesn't teach them I mean it teaches them not to do it again obviously but like there are better ways to go about it than just like belittling this is how someone. I remember like, the I situation d- I was sitting down and we were talking about eggs for some reason because of course it always is eggs dude we always talk about and eggs I said tamago or tamago or whatever the incorrect way and then Tal said what did you say and I said oh I said this and he said that's not right that you're not supposed to say it like that. What? Uh, are you? Uh. And he's like stuttering, like, oh, uh, why? No, stop, perish. I'm just like, ah, no, die. I. But also the thing is, you also. I assume it's a lot worse. Tell us than it probably is, didn't like, say it like that. Tell us probably didn't say it like that. <laughs> you just like assume like they're getting yes. mad at you for you it. You looked at me and said, "Talus is talking, therefore he is violent." <laughs> <laughs> that is violent. exactly how called is. No, it's just the way you started. It was like, what did you say? I'm like that did too. Did you pronounce it like that? Yeah, it's, yeah. It's because the one thing I said, I said, "What'd you say?" And he went and he got real defensive. No, because you started questioning how I pronounced it, as if I didn't know any better. Because why would I? It's because I wanted to make sure you said it what I thought you did before I started berating you. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I feel, I'm exactly like Colin, but like, I don't immediately think people are like getting mad at me, mm-hmm. but I do get defensive. About I mean, stuff. I agree. If somebody starts like yelling at me for something, I, 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 listen, when people, when I get threatened, all, all bets are off. It's like one time when my sister. It's like when you corner me, I'm, I'm fighting back. Yeah, it's like, yeah, it's like when my sister was like, if you tell mom, blah, 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 you don't get to use my Xbox. I said. No, I, well, I wasn't going to tell her, but now that you're threatening me, I am. And she's like, no, no, please don't. Like, yeah, fuck you. Don't threaten me. Like, don't threaten me. I'll be a cool guy. I'll keep, I'll, I will keep it a secret. I'll keep whatever you don't want me to say to myself. But the second you say it, you threaten me That's all. about it, I'm going to your do it. Your gloves are off. It's done. <laughs> You've sealed your fate. You're pushing me in a corner, and I'm going to fight back. I'm calling your bluff. Yeah, I'll, I'll <laughs> exactly. just start defending myself before I believe it's too late to defend myself. I'm just always super on edge I, about something going wrong. So as soon as like I start to sense like this could go south, I just I, I attack. <laughs> I, was, I just imagined like you posting something on Twitter and someone saying you're stupid, and then just like immediately like a twenty page reply. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't. Do that. No, I, I definitely just not respond. It's like I posted your newest video on Reddit because you were driving at the time. Yeah. And what the fuck was the response? Because it, it was the salamander video. And I, the caption I put was, you know what it is. And someone responded, right? And they said, I've seen this before in an old color book guide. I'll try to find it. It's a really cool salamander, though. Because I think he's he assumes I'm asking what the salamander on the thumbnail was. Yeah. And I'm just like, hmm. I'm going to just leave this alone. And just, you know. If he, if he finds a salamander, I'll thank him. But I'm not going to be like... Oh, you're stupid. No, that's not what I meant. That's not what I meant. Oh, uh, see, I thought you meant. I thought you were gonna say it because when I had posted it, uh, somebody responded with garbage. <laughs> and I thought it was gonna be the same person. No, that was say garbage, and then you just went off on him. No. <laughs> <laughs> that video was badass, by the way. Thank you. I appreciate it, dude. I really like that video. <laughs> I still don't know where to find you on YouTube, so I'm having trouble with that. Oh, I'm on your podcast. Don't know what your channel is, though. Peace. Really <laughs> don't. Piece of shit. <laughs> I'll post it in the, in the chat. Yeah, cool. I, was say, I, was like, I mean, like, every like time, it. like, half the time when I, like, go over, you're like, dude, I made this thing, and I want to show you, and I'm like, cool. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fair enough. And then I'm like, that was pretty good. Dude, the Lola Bunny video surpassed a thousand views. Did it? Surpassed. Yeah. Dude, that's pretty god tier. The Bowser one's almost at a thousand. Did your Salamander Sunday got 67 views? Yeah, no, I did. Which is just baffles me. The re- Like, why? <laughs> why? Oh, oh, I, oh, so that was actually much on the lesser scale compared to all the other videos I've been posting other than the podcasts. But, I mean, yeah, e- I, like, either, I even that. then, I don't care. Like, uh, it's got seven likes. People and more on Reddit. But people enjoyed it, and that's what I can... Sorry, but that's what I care about. And I love the comment. It, it's just, ah, uh, yes, the wet lizards. The wet lizards. Yeah, I'm getting Reddit lizards. karma out of it, so I'm happy. <laughs> How dare you. You know, I got, I got some plans for a couple more videos. Uh, I just need to get them. Actually, I was, after the podcast, I was going to go out. And you know what we one, need to do, so. right? 
We need to get together when it's on a nice day. Yo. It's not windy. We get David's GoPro yeah. and we do a fishing vlog. <laughs> Fishing vlog. <laughs> Honestly, yeah. You know what we really need to do is uh, what if I get, didn't? When we get that? that Minecraft server, I, I should stream it. Dude, Just... I don't know. Honestly, that'd be pretty badass though. Yeah. Cause like, zombie is my favorite mob in Minecraft, and yeah, my favorite mob neat. in Minecraft yeah. got uh, taken out and ruined. So that's pretty epic. <laughs> Which one was it, Colin? The zombie pig oh, man. one got taken out. The zombie pig man. The zombie pig man ruined him. It's yeah. epic. Tell me about it. <laughs> Very nice. <clears throat> Shit, we, lo we, we lost the steam. <laughs> we lost the steam. We were going good there. What are we So, at? what is your. Uh, when it comes to D&D, &D, do you prefer sorcerers or wizards? Wizards. I like sorcerers. I. I like. I can't, I can't choose a favorite, because, like, I think it's fun to play a sorcerer, but, like, wizards are just, like, amazing for making overpowered, Wizards are I guess. Yeah. cooler for characters, but sorcerers are easier to play. For me, in my tiny snail brain, it's like, wizards are like, I feel like there's too much happening. In reality, there's probably not a whole lot happening that I keep track of, but I feel like there is. That's why I usually stay I haven't played enough casters. wizards. I don't play enough of Wizards, but Wild Magic's cool, and I like Sorcerer points. Um, other than that, I honestly couldn't really tell you much on who gets what spells, so um, I honestly... Sorcerers and Wizards get fairly, like... They get the same spells, basically. Yeah, so at that, I mean, at that point, I'm just like, whatever, I'll just I'll like, go ahead and like when Sorcerer. it comes, Yeah, like, when it comes down to it, who is probably stronger? Sorcerers, but Wizards get way more spell slots. It really depends on the mood I'm in, whether I feel like being a, like an old, awesome wizard like Gandalf or like some young, magic-born user dude like uh, an X-Men. <laughs> yeah. So. Dude, if okay, if you could have any power, what would it be? D&D-related um, power well, or like any power, period? Just... Just any power period thing you Okay, so now. like realistically, there's two answers here. There's like the cool fun answer, and then there's like the I can destroy and create atoms. I mean, yeah, it's like oh, the, the ability to manipulate <laughs> like, atoms and matter. Or yeah. ice So it's power. like. The, <laughs> yeah, so it's like there's two separate things here. Like for, for an interesting fun one, I say shape, shape shifting. I love the idea of shape shifting and just turning into things, like essentially being a druid. <sighs> yeah. Like I, I guess you I, you could say like a small scale power kind of like a My Hero Academia or X Men kind of deal. Yeah, I think like that's what I was getting on like for like X Men kind or like I guess yeah. Yeah, that just like X Men wise, like oh yeah, you're not gonna be like, oh I'm an X Men and uh, I'm God. <laughs> you know I'm a God. I'm God. You know kind of deal. Like you're gonna be like oh I'm X Men. I have. Uh, claws in my hands. Do you know how? Hey, right, listen. If I could shapeshift, do you do you know how much I could just fuck with people? Like, I, I like. Let's say I shapeshift one day. I would go to Hunter's. Turn into Biden. I would go to Hunter's. I would op I would knock on the door, and he just open it up to Teddy Rose. That's the important. Or walk, part. go into Washington D.C. and just change into Biden. Oh, you, okay, now, <laughs> now I have the power. <laughs> I have power. Anyways, what's yours? Me. Yeah. Um, for fun, fun, like, random, uh, I would definitely, like, that's hard. I, like, I think it'd be cool to be able to, like, you know, like, Nightcrawler kind of deal? Like, oh, you can go into the shadows, and, like, I go into a shadow, and I can, like, shoot that's to another shadow kind of deal. Cool. That's not what Nightcrawler does, but that is what somebody... But he teleports, teleports that is what somebody, and I'm like, I'm, I say, that is what somebody think, in my heel does. He goes into shadows. Oh, I guess anything black is. Yeah. But point is that, yeah... It's, power vent to black i can just like meld into a shadow and just like whoosh, you know yeah yeah what about you call oh uh either the ability to c manipulate and control metal or probably something like temperature ice. i want to say like control water but only if that also includes ice otherwise i'd say like the ability to change temperature like oh, I make this water cold, and uh, like the, the 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 moisture in the air, I can change to be ice, and then like do stuff with that or something. I don't know. Mm -hmm. that, that Just call and touch with somebody. To, like, I'm deleting your moisture. Yeah. <laughs> There's like a D I think it's like a DC like 
superhero, like, oh, there was, like, a line of superheroes where they just made the hero, like, their their power wasn't, like, super good. Like, oh, like, there's this guy who could change colors, right? He could just change something's color. He would think, oh, yeah, that's not that overpowered. But if he, like, went up to, like, and held kryptonite, blue kryptonite, uh, blue, or was it blue kryptonite, like, doesn't do anything to Superman... But if you change color, it changes the properties as well. So it's just like, oh yeah, I made gold kryptonite. You now have no powers. You now have no powers. You've lost all of your powers. Yeah. yeah. I do like things like this. Kind of like uh, like why I like watching my hero is because it's like they have a lot of them have like weak powers that they learn to control and make better. If uh, uh, I don't know, I, I don't really like my hero. <laughs> I'm not, I'm gonna say it right now. I'm not That's a big fair. fan of it. I, I want to say right before we we move on to Hunter with the power mm-hmm. thing. If anybody, you know, only Talos would get this, but there's a character from JoJo's Part 5. He has a stand named White Album, which essentially gives him the ability ability to control temperatures and frost and stuff. And that's essentially the power. That's what you want? So what about you, Hunter? Uh, super speed. Okay, Mr. Basic <laughs> over here. <laughs> Clearly super speed. I want to be far I, I, away from anything that's trying to hurt me, so that's why. Tell us... Tell- Tells is also pretty basic, I was say but my so like, yeah. If I can not fight, but that can be I hell won't. overpowered. Shape shifting can be hell overpowered. I mean, shape shifting without without gaining the properties of what you turn into, like uh, uh, like maybe like physical attributes, but like say if I shape shift into Superman, I don't get his abilities. No, obviously, but like again, if you change, just an example, you change into like Putin or something, and you walk and you're like you're in Russia, you change into Putin, you know. And then it's like, oh, which one's the real Putin? You all, you both have the same physical properties. Yeah. Uh, but You are both Putin. Yeah, but I mean, like... You're both fair. Putin. I mean, I mean, it's like also, like, super speed could be overpowered, because one minute you're in one place, next minute you're in the other place, and then, and then you fucking just break the president's neck in a moment, and then you're gone. That's so. true. <laughs> yeah. So. Uh, uh, what kind of limitations would you put on, the, on your powers? Like, oh, yeah, I could shapeshift, but, like, if I do it and I, sh- like... I only am able to shape shift for like ten minutes, like, and I have to concentrate on it. That make the Afterwards, Putin thing I get much like different. I like a splitting headache. I get like a splitting headache. Or it's like with your super speed, you can run, but it uses the same amount of stamina <laughs> you have. So like, <laughs> you run and you can only like super speed for like, a f- like five hundred feet, and then you're I mean, just like, you oh, I'm winded. It, if you had super speed, it's like on. you you could change the temperature in the in the air. But unfortunately, it also changes your body temperature. <laughs> oh. <laughs> like you change the temperature in the air, but you feel a hundred percent of what you're doing. So you're like, oh, it gets really cold really instantly, and your body goes into shock, I mean, kind of deal. Anyways, if you think about on. like super speed, it's not just go running fast. He could just punch somebody with the force of like a bullet, essentially, and just rip a hole yeah. in somebody. Yeah, you should demolish someone, which is why I'm saying you use like your same stamina. You demolish someone, but now your hand, it, like the force of your hand hitting his face, it, your hand is now broke. Yeah, your hand is broken. And, your like wrist is sprained, and now you're super tired because yeah. you did that. But now, 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 is this? You put a sword in his hand. That's that's true. But like at this point, who's gonna fight back? Like who uses a sword every day? So if you had a sword in your hand anyways, and you swipe at someone, they're not gonna be able to just like oh, <laughs> you know, <laughs> it's well, not gonna get cut. I'm, I'm just saying, like, it, 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 let's say. In America, it's legal to carry a sword on you, or, or even a knife at that point, whatever. But, you know, the point is that you have something like that, and then, you know, somebody goes to rob you, and they put a gun in your face, super speed, they're dead. <laughs> so that, that arm is dead. Gone. That arm is flying It's always just like that <laughs> anime thing where they slash, and then they put their katana away, and then the cut happens after they sheath it. That's exactly going to be hunted. Or, like, or like <laughs> when they, like, when they, like, they just go, out of the sheet, and back, back in you, the you like, like you like, oh my, that sounded just like Dakota, you're just like, oh yeah, and, like, yeah, and then they do, they just complete silence. He's <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> "Hey, watch this." <laughs> <laughs> Nothing happened. Oh, I just killed someone down the street. <laughs> I just killed someone down the street. It's like the ability to manipulate iron and stuff. Oh, but you lose iron in your blood the oh, more I just you use it. <laughs> Go. Because <laughs> like, I mean, uh, you just like sitting there, like, "Watch this." You're quiet, and then like all of a sudden, you're like, "Yeah, I just lynched your cat." <laughs> Oh. That's pretty bad. I wait. I yeah. I don't know. Hmm. So super speed. How fast would I be able to go? There you go. As fast, honestly, as with the limitations that we've set, as fast as you 
the one. You could like travel just under light speed, not quite light speed, but you know, like physically and possible. And you can also like things. regulate. You can go just below light you speed. Can regulate how fast you're but, going. Like, also, so it's like you could just go a bit faster than everybody else, like in a race, and not yeah. strain yourself. Yeah, like uh, <laughs> like Dash did in, in Incredibles. Sure, yeah, you know. Yeah. yeah. Sure. Did you not watch like Incredibles? Just, just a little bit faster, but then he can also run as fast as a jet, yeah. you know, kind of deal. He can run so fast he can be on water. True. But if I had just ice powers, I could just freeze the top of the water and walk on the water. Yeah. <laughs> oh, so and then I'd slip, slip and die. Like, it's also slick. As, yeah, so, but then it's really slick, and like uh, you fall down splits, and break uh, your uh, you break your foot. <laughs> ice cleats. Spray on shoes. On ice. Just Okay, so you make ice cleats on on ice, and you step on the ice, and then they just break because uh, uh, ice, he's on ice to some, is not hey, very hey, He's on strong. to something with the uh, with the shoes. And, and actually, you know, thick enough ice is pretty strong, right? You ever stand on a pond? Ice yeah, can be like, strong. But how? What kind of ice cleats? What kind of ice cleats can you make that'll be strong enough to hold Listen, your body weight without some breaking? Fucking thick boys. <laughs> yeah, but you're gonna have like a twenty pound weight on your foot just to try to not slide. And Listen, then what's the point practice, of that? You can, you can just work, walk right? around at that point. Dude, have you ever seen what the ice does on ice? It slides. Yeah, it makes skis. Fuck yeah. you. <laughs> yeah, but... Skates, skates, ice right. skates. Skis, ice skates. Oh, yeah. He, yeah, yeah, he's like cleats, didn't he? I thought he was talking about... Yeah, skis. no, that's just lots... All right, so a cleat is like a spiked shoe. Yeah. That's yeah. less surface area touching the water, or not the the ice. So you're just going to be sliding and dying, all right? I said, but will the ice of an ice blade... Like, will the ice blade itself, like, will it not just slide on the ice anyways? Like, it's not going like, to, cut into the ice. It's just going to, you're going to stand on the ice, and it's going to still shoot out sideways kind of deal. I like how we're just shitting on Colin's idea. No, I'm just no, saying I'm limitations. There yeah. are limitations. If if we're going off the of limitations what was we've your power set, again? that I've set, actually. The shadow. Teleporting yeah, from right. shadow to shadow. Unfortunately, it's like, oh, the limitation. limitation. You can only, when it you becomes can only daylight, sh- you die <laughs> if you're still in the shadow. <laughs> that cannot exist in daylight. Uh, I, I just think limitations for sh- teleporting from shadow to shadow is like, oh, you can only teleport to a shadow you see. And, like, if you the, if it's outside the room, you can't teleport outside a room. Just like, woo, you're just, like, teleporting well, like from one shadow to so shadow. So how, how do you defeat David's power? Just get a lot of lights. Ever, just light Yeah, everything. it's like, if you just, like, turn the lights on, I'm, I'm kind of fucked. You know? <laughs> I'm kind of fucked. It's like, oh, my power, my power is gone. But, like, at night, the, like, how fast I can yeah, move at like, night. Like, the character yeah. from My Hero, his limitation was essentially... Or he didn't have a limitation on, like, the size of the black object he was going into. The shadows, it could be like, oh, black. if the shadow is too small, you can't teleport to it. Or, yeah. Yeah, too like, far it has to be, like, my size. Yeah. But it's like, if it's, like, night outside, I walk outside, I can just fucking... Whew. Yeah. But it's, like, any other time, it's, like, it's basically useless. Yeah. Well, if it was daytime, you went into somebody's shadow, though. But it depends how big this shadow... I'd have to be, like, like teleporting to, like, a land whale shadow. Or, <laughs> yeah. like, you know? Like, I can't just, but like, teleport to an average person's shadow? shadow. Like, does that mean, like, when it's cloudy outside, everything's a shadow? <laughs> no, because there's still light, you know? Yeah. It's like only like a shadow, like, like you like your shadow, and like, like you saying, like a human, like someone walking down the street, they have a shadow, but most of the time the shadow is smaller than their actual like person because like the way the light hits the shadow the has person. to have a certain amount of light in it, or have a certain like darkness of to area. It. it has to have a the certain opacity area. has to be That's cranked down to a certain amount to be able to make yeah, it. A I was shadow. Gonna say, it has to be assigned densest because technically at least fifty percent, at least fifty yeah. percent opacity. Yeah. yeah. I was gonna say it would have to be the yeah the density of it because like to be fair yes a cloud in front of the sun casts a shadow which is why you don't see a shadow when that happens but you know but it's still really bright out well yeah that's what I'm know? saying that's why the you know the density the opacity yes yeah, like when it's like you know raining yeah like when it's like raining outside it's still you know, sun out you're, it's still light you can't teleport you know you still have to go into like a darker area. So you'd be like a Batman kind of figure, huh, Dave? Yeah, like, I would only, my, that power would only really be useful at night, or if I'm, like, in, like, the sewers or some shit. Yeah. Like, I get lost in the catacombs, I'm just, like, fucking... <laughs> <laughs> then you can't get out. <laughs> oh. Yeah, and the thing is, like, also, I can't see either. Like, I, I can't see <laughs> when I'm when it's that dark. Yeah. You just get night vision goggles, Dave. There you go. Yeah, but those are, like, $16,000. They are, now, right? when you're teleporting... Are you saying you don't have enough money, Dave? Here's a question. There if you go. If you're teleporting from a shadow to a shadow, huh. 
Could you only move in a straight line? I don't like know. This character in One Piece, who's like, oh, when you walk down a straight, it's like, oh, I can travel at the speed of light in an instant, but I can only move in one straight line to that direction. I would assume not because I can walk sideways. Yeah, I agree. I guess. Man, just uh, right, wait. So imagine yeah. I'm just like super speeding down the street and I just hit somebody. Oh my I God, bump into somebody. <laughs> you're both fucked. You <laughs> you bump into them, you're like going like 200 miles an hour, you like dislocate your arm, you know? Yeah. They die. Just like gone. Uh, your arm's like gone, yep. and they're like, they're like, whatever you hit on them is like. Dude, you just get, up. Like, well, you like, know get a pair of Heelys and just do like a small superpower, like push uh, and just push <laughs> on your wheels. You, 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 you remember that thing of Iggy? Um, what, huh. you know? Wait. Um, that, that's what, that's what Hunter's gonna do to someone's <laughs> dog. <laughs> I don't know what happened, and I'm afraid. <laughs> Iggy, and no! Boom. Gone. Boom. <laughs> just, just cut a man in half with pure force. Pure force. Dude, imagine, like, karate chopping someone. Just fucking demolish them. <laughs> <laughs> I demolish my hand, too. Yeah. But, you know. But still. You know, force and of, like, a smaller area like hitting like a larger object like i can like when i was back and i did taekwondo i could like I, although the board was like made to break but like you could like hit a board yeah you, you feel it in your hand but the board breaks yeah you know? dude you could just like it's like if you train if you train like how much like resilience you have because like mma fighters or whatever they like can get hit multiple times and they're fine well, let me not fine, but they can. They're like, not power fine, through. but you know. They can power through it, you know. Exactly. Just, like, dude, you could just like throw a whole bullet at somebody, and it could just like go through them. Just. <laughs> yeah, and that would that that be it. That's like that's how you get around that. Is you just have to find ways to get you around throw your shit. downfalls of your your. It's sort of like Midoriya. It's like oh, instead of using 100, percent use a little bit of power, or like at the tip of your finger, you toss the ball, and it only like breaks the little tip of your finger or whatever. Or like in the movie Zoom, yeah, where Zoom. like the dude like scramble, like like whisk something with his finger by just making his finger go really fast back and forth, just. Sure. Yeah. You know? I haven't seen Zoom. Is I it good, Dave? Zoom is. Dude, it was so bad, but it was like so it was bad. Like, good. It's been. For, it's like a kid movie. It's like what a kid movie. Yeah. Look it up. It's a movie, Colin. It's got Tim oh, Allen no. in it. <laughs> but yeah. Yeah, that kind of thing. It's like, oh, you can just make your finger really fast and, like, whisk some food Dude, together. you'd make your wife very happy. Yeah. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> oh, this looks awful. I'm scared. Oh, my God. Are you scared? <laughs> Dude, yeah. you know what fucking movie was Ooh. great? What was it fucking... Oh, what was that superhero movie about the school? Sky, Sky High. High. That Cut movie was Sky great. Sky High. That's a yeah, Disney movie, so. isn't it? Yeah, it's yeah, it's on uh, Disney Plus. It's a great movie. <laughs> it's a great. I need movie. to watch it again. I haven't seen it since I was like. I want the do you guys, guys know Shark Boy and Lava Girl has a sequel? Dude, what was that, dude. Do you know Shark Boy and Lava Girl has a sequel? Let's that's not. That's about not. That. That's, <laughs> really? It's it's not. Listen, it's on Netflix. It has a sequel. It's on Netflix, and it's not what you want it to be. It's not what you want. It's chill. Dude, let's be honest here. George Lopez, the best character. <laughs> George Lopez, Mr. Electric. <laughs> yeah, that's a great movie. That's only good part. Dude, fucking Spy Kids. Was it Spy Kids Three? Was the video game one or whatever? That one was great. Yeah, that's like the only memorable the guy. one. <laughs> Somebody ring the dinkster. The dinkster. Yeah. That's a great movie. <laughs> I am confused and scared. So thank you. Have you never watched Spy Kids? I watched. I see. Look, I think I watched all of them, but I remember nothing. That's fair. I remember that there was maybe a hamster or a gerbil or something, and that was it. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. That's all I remember about that. Fair enough. Maybe God stays in heaven because he's scared of what he's created. What was that quote? Or something like that. Yeah, that's the quote. That is. Yeah. You did it. Got a big brain. Dude, I'm gonna be honest. If you made humans, wouldn't you be scared too? True. Yeah. True. Yeah. 
Man, I got a piss. Dude, I, I mean, I would say we can go ahead and end it. Dude, I like how Dinksta Daily is at 1883 right now. What? There's a YouTube channel called uh, 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 Dinksta Daily, which is that scene that I uh, sent in the chat about um, <laughs> well, uh, from that scene from Spy Kids 3, and he's done it 1883 days in a row. He's like Swedish. Or well, sorry, uh, uh, sorry, uh, uh, yeah, yeah, 1800, yeah, uh, eight, so 1883. It's some Swedish guy okay. who uploads the same video every day. Hey, every once in a while, there's something special about it, like on. So, like how Dakota used to like when he was on iFunny, he used to poke <laughs> post a daily milk. Daily picture. milk, I remember did that. Did he? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Why did he stop? I don't know. No one will know. No, no, no. 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 Yo, shout out to Daily Milk. <laughs> shout All out right. to Daily Milk. All right, guys. So uh, we're wrapping up the podcast now because uh, it's about that time. Uh, so this has been a track curious. Uh, uh, follow. Follow me at Uneducated Videos on the Twitter, yeah, please. <laughs> I'm very follow me at uh, Seppi underscore uh, media on Twitter. I post pictures of my cat sometimes. Yeah, and uh, yeah. follow Hunter at what's your address? <laughs> 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 yeah, follow and I still Spike. have no social media. <laughs> Bussy. <laughs> what, what, what's your social? I got nothing. I have you can't follow me nowhere. Exactly. Only I could probably. I'm neither. You. I'm neither. You could try. Either. I have a gun. <laughs> I have seven. Five. five. You have a five, you? seven. Nice. Five. Five. Five, seven. Dude, yeah. I win. Anyways, bye. That's pretty cool. Bye. See ya. All right, bye.